Hey everyone, just wanted to uh, hop on real quick and go over an item that I received for Christmas, uh, the Garmin HRM Pro. Wanted to share a little bit uh, about my thoughts on it, uh, kind of consider this a quick little review. Nothing too crazy since it's there's not really as many features on it like there are on the Garmin watch, but there are some things that are beneficial. So the main reason why I wanted the heart rate monitor was because I just wanted something a little more accurate as far as uh, heart rate scope. So like, for example, if I'm using my watch, which I mean, we all know they're not 100% accurate, which none of it really is, um, but it's not as accurate as maybe something that's laid straight across your chest is, like so. Um, but anyways, uh, the reason I wanted it was uh, for example, if I'm running up a hill um, and you, you can feel the effort is harder, your heart rate's, you know, you can feel your heart rate increasing, look at your watch, and you're like, it's not climbing yet. It may be delayed. Um, well, from my experience with this, that's gone. The delay is very small. It connects via Bluetooth to my watch so I can see what it's uh, showing, but there's also some other aspects of it. Um, it comes with a couple more like running dynamic features. And I'll put those on the screen. We'll walk through them here in just a second. All right, so let's dive into Garmin Connect right here and uh, take a look at the most recent run where you know I use this, show you some of the extra features that you get. So basically, um, the running dynamics feature right here is the extra bit you get. Uh, average run cadence. You know, there's a bunch of charts. We will look at that here in a minute. Um, so we'll go to the chart section and you scroll down. Cadence is where it starts. So you get a much more accurate number. Um, you see the purple is more for your elite runners, and that's with all of these metrics you're about to see. Uh, five is your beginners uh, need to work on, obviously need to work on that. Um, and there's descriptions of what it does in there. So for me, my most recent run, there were some red times where you know maybe I was slowing down or, or whatever, but most of it was in the green. There was some blue. So I'm doing pretty good when it comes to cadence. Stride length, um, I, don't, I, I think that's part of it that it measures as well. Vertical ratio uh, takes this vertical oscillation here and divides it by your stride length, some type of format or something, a calculation. Um, the same thing here, you got your zones, purple, super elite. Um, there were times, or most of the time I'm in between the green, a little bit of purple you see in there, but blue and green is kind of where I hang out. Vertical oscillation, this one's really interesting to me. Um, you see a lot of purple and a lot of blue. So basically, this just means it's basically how much your torso is moving as you run. So like, are you bouncing when you're running or are you picking your legs up? Are you like jumping, I guess, is the way you can think about it. So a lot of it, my average was 6.8. So that uh, that puts me in the blue category, 70, 95% of people. Uh, ground contact balance time. This basically just shows you which kind of foot you favor more um, when it, in regards to how fat, how much it's on the ground. And there's a, a description here. So ground contact time is the symmetries you run by monitoring the bounce from your left and right foot. Um, and obviously, I, be, I favor my left foot much more. Uh, ground contact time, this was not a good, a good uh, run for me, but this basically just measures how much your feet are in contact with the ground in milliseconds. So obviously, it was a slower run. Uh, I maybe wasn't picking my feet up as fast, so it was in the, I had a lot of red. But I have had... I have had a lot of uh, blue, or blue before. Elevation, that's standard. Um, so that's pretty much it. That's what you get um, with the extra dynamics with your heart rate strap. It's pretty simple. Um, there's nothing really crazy going on. It's just an extension. Is this necessary? No, it's not. Um, it's just a little extra something that I wanted. Do you need this to go out and learn how to run? No, you don't. Your watch will be just fine. As long as you have a heart rate monitor on your watch, GPS watch will be just fine. But uh, it's just, just a little piece of extra stuff. Um, so that's pretty much it. Yeah, I just wanted to uh, hop on here and uh, kind of show you what extra you get with the heart rate strap. It's not just the heart rate strap. You got a little, little more data you get to look at. So we will catch you in the next one. See ya.